I've done weddings in the past, uh, you know, fancy ones, but this one in particular, it just, it really hit home. And so in today's video, we're going to talk about how I filmed it with the Lumex S5 2X, my Lumex S5, and also the current camera we're rolling with, the GH5. I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, this Hasidic Jewish wedding that I shot like a documentary, and it's nothing like I've ever filmed before. So let's just hop into it for a second. To start the video, we are starting with a little bit of just setting the tone of the environment of what the viewer is about to see. And then, of course, we're hopping into Shira because we're going to show the ladies first. So a little bit of B-roll and then boom, we're into showing our bride. Love, happiness, a long life, prosperity, and serenity, all good things, and love, 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 Okay, so we're gonna see you. You look stunning. So I think I maybe just like, just like close your arms like this a little bit. <laughs> it's funny because he's usually the only one who takes pictures of me. I know, I've spoken to him on the phone since last Tuesday. And so, wow. emailed and like texting for just occasional yeah. um, technical difficulties. I'm like, hey, I need you out of the house right now. But nothing, like, I miss you. I want to see your face. I am madly in love with you. None of all that. All right. So one thing that I want to set up or I like to set up in my wedding videos is we start off with some quick B-roll to set the tone and the stage of the environment. And then we roll into the bride. And typically, like mentioned, a lot of that audio was captured, captured on board. So we are going with authentic vibes. We are trying to capture true moments. And we're gonna showcase that of Shira just to set the tone. You guys get to meet the bride. And then she kind of gives a little bit of a testimony that we caught. I absolutely loved it because it kind of brings you into their particular relationship. And now that she had talked about Jesse, we are going to now feature the groom. You look good. I got to be in Manchester. You're usually talking about how much better looking and nicer and sweeter she is than you. It's true. <laughs> oh, I know. We, we, we confirmed that. Man, you guys look so much alike. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. One more. One more. One more. All right. One more. Ready? There you go. Hey, I get up. I love it. <laughs> Now, as you can see, we're not gonna go through the full wedding video, but you can see now that we've kind of shown Jesse, we're showing his family interacting, his friends meeting and greeting. Uh, actually, the guy that did the photography was a friend of his, so you guys even hear a little back and forth between them, because these are all people that are a part of this day and a part of this story. You look amazing. Thank you. Hi, Wes. Whoa! Oh, look okay? Great. It's beautiful. Oh, it's Angie Bonnie's there. Amazing. Yeah. Oh. Now I have to pause right here because this is like one of my favorite moments of this particular video when her mom and dad's here for the first time. I don't know why. I, I do know them personally, but this is a moment that whether it's shaky camera, whether it's good or bad audio, you really want to capture this moment because this is what this day is all about is these people kind of coming together and witnessing, you know, these two people getting married. So very key. And you can obviously tell I captured that handheld with the onboard audio, but I really like that moment and something that I think is very valuable if you can capture it in your wedding videos. How are you? Oh my god. Now, of course, we kind of step and repeat with Shira's kind of meeting the family and everything like that. We're kind of showing her meet her parents. We're also doing some meet and greet with family. And it's really just bringing you into introducing you to all these people that are going to be a part of that wedding day. 
Now, another thing that was very special to Shira was that her bouquet was actually made out of Legos. And I happened to capture the interaction where her and her family, she's kind of describing how she made it and everyone's excited about it. Super tall and yours. So cool. Really good. DIY'd it last night, did you figure it out? I love it. Wow. Yeah, that's so amazing. Fun. Look right here, Mira. So it's those little bitty moments that you've got to make sure right off the bat, if you kind of pick up on there's something special, you've got to keep an eye out for when those opportunities come to capture that situation. Once again, just handheld with that onboard audio, and that can just be good enough for this documentary style video to kind of get what you need. The Schlush is like my Tuesday, mm -hmm. 10 days in the sea bun, with 5783. When she okay. brings in from, from, from her home, also, right? silver, gold, jewelry, everything like that. So Isha Ben Avramino accepts upon himself, to Shira Rona, Bas Yochan Yosef. Everything which is in accordance with the laws of Ir should be, I should encourage everything is everything is done in accordance with the law of Ir. <laughs> Holding first time, it's really bad. Well, marriage will be affected later on under the chuppah when Ishai will give Kala, if Shira, the ring in front of two witnesses and say the formula. Matzad tov, the yafak ratzon, ma adonai, ma gid. Much better. Now, this was a really special moment because this is the first time Jesse and Shira actually get to kind of see each other or have seen each other in a long time. And it was pretty cool when he actually gave her that little, I guess you would say like painting slash paint, painting, I guess. He got it in Israel because he had spent the past three months or maybe month and a half in Israel, and that was kind of like a gift to his soon-to-be wife. And then he obviously put the, I guess, veil over her head. It's now... Disclaimer here, one thing is men are not supposed to touch the bride. So that was one thing that was kind of tricky for a lot of those that weren't familiar with that, was just making sure that we didn't break that tradition. But super fun to capture. And how I captured this is I've got the handheld, the Lumex S52X. I'm capturing Jesse kind of inner and doing all the dancing and the singing. And then we had the Lumex S5 on a tripod kind of ready to capture when they see each other for the first time. It was very chaotic, so having two cameras was an absolute must for this particular situation. Situation. Hallelujah. I had the focus right, everything right, and no one actually got in front of the camera because you just, on the fly, you never even know. Pause it here just for a quick second. Uh, this is where we had actually three cameras. We had the GH5 at the very back on a wide angle, which you guys are probably currently looking at. You can see me over in the right-hand side of the frame. I've got the Lumex S52X, and I've got it with the 70 to 200. That way I can get nice and tight. And then over to the corner near the tree on the left-hand side is where the S5 is sitting. I want to say with the 24 to 105 or maybe even the kit lens. I'm not exactly sure, but that is kind of the camera coverage. And you'll see through out, I actually end up having to move the cameras a handful of times just to get my angles right.
Now let's go ahead and talk about audio for the actual ceremony. So there were every camera had onboard audio and the music kind of portion where they're actually walking up for the ceremony the vast majority of that audio is coming from i want to say the panasonic gh5 that's placed at the back of the venue now reason being is i just thought it got the best audio of the three cameras and once we then jump into kind of the back and forth talking uh under the hookah, which is where they're actually getting married we actually have a dji microphone that is on jesse now make the bike head up under the air Nine from over you. Those will give me a book. See, now we were using that earlier when they were doing some of the signing of the documents and things like that. And I have to say this absolutely saved my ASS 100% because these microphones were able to record the audio directly onto the actual little like transmitter or whatnot. And so basically I have it clipped onto them and that is just going. It's doing its own thing. It's got 32-bit float. And that's all the audio that you're hearing. And hallelujah that we had that. And you can kind of see that we're just juggling back and forth between the different camera angles. I am trying to capture as much as possible. I'm not allowed to go underneath the hook bow, which is where they're getting married. So a lot of it, I'm just kind of a roaming around. Sometimes I had the monopod that I was actually using with the 70 to 200. And once we get to the very end, we have Jesse and Shira. They now pretty much at this point are about to celebrate their marriage being official. And then we make our way into the dance scene. Now we're on the dance floor and this is where things get super interesting. One thing I did not realize is that men and women are separated when it comes to the dance floor. So there's like a big kind of curtain in the middle. Once again, this is why multiple cameras really do come in handy. I had a GH5 that was capturing the females and then I had the S5 that was capturing the men and then obviously roaming with the S52X. Now this allowed me to capture all the moments that were happening because if I only had one camera, this just would have been so much that was missed. Now the men and women dance for a while, they do some eating, they do some drinking. And it was just really fun. I mean, guys on unicycles, guys with hats, guys swinging their kids in the air, guys on top of people's shoulders. It was just an absolute blast to film and something that I've never witnessed. And that was something that was a, I knew it was coming, but I did not know the full spectrum of what was about to happen. And it was just fun to capture. <laughs> finally just close out the video after all this has happened we've told the story of them getting married and celebrating we make our way into where jesse and shira got engaged and we do a little bit of a photo shoot and we get a lot of b-roll All of that being said, that was my approach to this particular wedding. I had no idea what I was getting into, but I know with my past kind of experience, having multiple cameras, always being willing to have or willing to have some audio rolling and uh, just being willing to bust your living nuts. Um, I was able to capture this and as like I mentioned in the beginning we shot it like a full documentary because I just think that a wedding like this there's more power in the story and the day and how it plays out in traditions than it would be to just have a fancy b-roll wedding kind of montage video so that was my approach that was my result and uh hey guys Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions as always 
If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content we keep creating here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And this was my take on a one-man band, how I kind of approached filming this wedding. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, did not shoot in log footage. Totally should have. I think I want to shot, I shot Rec 709, but that was probably my biggest kind of takeaway from that is I wish I had shot uh, log footage. But see you guys in the next video. The old Lumex, they came through. Whether it was the S5-2X, the S5, or the GH5, I was very happy with the results. Guys, weigh in. Peace. God, it is so stinking hot in here.